a lot more than people think. And even though it's an uncomfortable topic, in order to end the violence in our relationships, we have to talk about it. In order to understand the abuse in the survivors' lives, advocates and scientists have put together a diagram called the cycle of violence, and this specifically illustrates how most of the relationship stays in the honeymoon phase where everything's happy and they're getting along, but then it progresses on to something called the tension building phase, where the survivors report that they feel like they're walking on eggshells right before the abuse erupts. After the abuse happens, the abuser will typically apologize and the couple will reconcile, and they'll go back into the honeymoon phase before progressing on to the tension building phase again. It's also important to remember that abuse isn't just hitting somebody. Domestic violence affects 1 in 4 women and 1 in 15 men. Domestic violence only occurs in poor communities. The truth of the matter is that research has shown us that domestic violence is an indiscriminate predator, and although the poor often have a harder time accessing resources, it affects all walks of life equally. Relationship violence is caused by substance abuse and drinking too much. While substances can definitely amplify the violence, they do not cause the violence. The cause for relationship violence is the abuser's desire to exert power and control over their victim. If a survivor goes back with their abuser, then they must want the abuse. This is the biggest and most detrimental myth of all because it shifts the blame to the victim. In reality, we see so many reasons why survivors have to return to their abusers. In addition to all of these reasons, research has shown us time and time again that the most dangerous point for the survivor is after they leave the relationship. And this is when the most homicides happen. On average, the survivor will leave the relationship seven times before they have the resources to get out and stay out. The biggest warning sign for an abusive relationship is if you feel scared or threatened. The number one most important thing to remember is to trust your instincts. If you feel like something bad's gonna happen, get out before it has an opportunity to happen. In order to get out, every survivor must choose the path that's best for them in their situation. No two safety plans will be alike. In my experience, survivors call upon their parents, their siblings, friends, and if they don't have anybody to turn to, they'll call agencies like ours. If you need help, do an internet search for domestic violence shelters or crisis agencies in your county. Try not to be scared and do it when you're ready. If you know somebody or somebody confides in you that they're in a violent relationship, the most important thing to remember is that this person has been robbed of their power. And as a supporter, our job is to put them back in power. Here are some general do's and don'ts that can help you achieve this. Be careful to avoid blaming the survivor. Unless it was in reasonable self-defense, there's absolutely no excuse for the violence that they're experiencing. Try your very best not to tell the survivor what they should should do. This is somebody who's lost their autonomy. Instead, ask them questions that will help them figure out what they need to do to regain power in their life. And at all costs, do not judge, even when you don't agree with what the survivor's doing. Often when someone's in crisis, they're in survival mode and they know a lot more about their situation and where they're at than we do. Do make your support very clear. Do find and offer them resources. Do listen way more than you talk. And no matter who you are, you can always help by spreading awareness about this huge, huge issue. You can click the link below to tweet this video out, or I've also included tons of resources, including uh, shelter organization websites, hotlines, how to become a counselor, and a ton of other things in the description, so check it out. I'm sorry that today's episode was so heavy. I figured that I need to address this. I love you all, and I'll see you next week. Except your mom. Oh. What? Mama, go! The police are coming! Is your mom?